this is the first time I'm meeting you in person, Jonathan. True. But I do want to tell the story of the time we met virtually for the first time. I was sitting at my desk job five years ago. I don't know if you remember this. And I, was I don't remember you having a desk job. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's why I brought him up here. There's a third microphone right there, David. Feel free to chime in. You had a desk? A desk. My job was making desks. No, I was working for actually Topps baseball cards at the yeah. time. And, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a menial job in a way. But I was scouring YouTube on my lunch hour, and I found a documentary made in 1992 about Joe Franklin, hosted by you, uh, called A Day in the Life of Joe Franklin. Are you guys familiar with Joe Franklin, the old talk show host? No. No. <laughs> We're in Boston. Filmed by, by Steve Castle, Steve, a wonderful filmmaker. Steve Castle, the independent, who you were also when you directed. Anyway, I found your website, and it was one of those automated email forms, and I just threw the dice and sent you an email. And a few days later, I'm sitting at my desk again, I get a phone call, and that unmistakable voice, hello, Scott, this is Jonathan Katz. And I flipped out, John. I mean, I got up, I, I, I had to walk out of the office, I took the call on the street, and, and, uh, and just, and we talked for 20 minutes, you gave me so much of your time, because I suggested in my email that we redo this documentary with Joe Franklin 22 years later. Scott, you have no idea how lonely I am. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I didn't realize that. I spent 20 minutes on the phone with, with uh, somebody in the Philippines trying to sell me his phone service. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted, to show, uh, I wanted to show a clip of this documentary that you hosted, uh, directed by Stephen Kessler, uh, with Joe Franklin, who has unfortunately passed. He is no longer with us, but this, is a, this video will always be with us. <laughs> Jonathan Katz and Joe Franklin, wow. a day in the life. I've never seen that. You got it. It's on YouTube. What do you remember from that day? Would you actually spend a whole day with Joe, with, uh, Joe there? I did. It was, he, he took me to a restaurant where they served the Joe Franklin sandwich. <laughs> it was all about him. But yeah. he was, uh, actually, he was a very sweet guy. He, he offered to lend me money. I didn't need any money. But he, <laughs> he just took out some peeling off 50s. <laughs> so, uh, sweet guy. Were you ever a guest on the Joe Franklin show? No. Because, no. no. Because I never made it. <laughs> you didn't have an infomercial. Was he a hoarder? A pack rat? Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. Was an incredible hoarder. It was impossible to get in and out of his office. And they had to tear down the building at one point. And I think somebody must have his archive somewhere. Not me. Yeah. I want to ask about another comedian, uh, uh, Larry David. Is it true that Larry David borrowed the template that you used to produce and write Dr. Katz, professional therapist for Kirby Enthusiasm? The The... Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on. Next question. <laughs> you know, he had lunch with Tom Snyder one day, and he said, how do you guys get the very natural-sounding dialogue? And Tom explained that we worked from an outline, and we both wrote the scripts and worked off script. And I guess, you know, done a couple of things for Larry David without money or attribution. Uh, but, you know, in his defense, he was about to write a movie, and he said uh, he's married to my ex-manager at the time, Lori Leonard. He came oh, wow. Lori David. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan, uh, Lori says, I'm about to write this movie. Lori says you already wrote it. Uh, is that true? And he said, yeah, it is. I'll write something else. And he did. He wrote a movie called Sour Grapes. Yeah. So he wrote his first draft was something that you had already written? Yeah. What was that about? It was, it was a movie called One Time Only, but a woman who gives her husband a gift certificate for an extramarital affair. <laughs> Which he sort of incorporated into his show. Yeah. In a, into an episode. Absolutely. He asked me about that. Uh, do you mind if I use that on a runner? As a runner on Curb? And I said, actually, I'm not sure if it's fat. Wait, be a mensch. <laughs> it's like the Jewish mafia. <laughs> so you have a good relationship with him going back to the days in New York at, at Improv and, and the and Cash Rising Star? Yeah. Is that yeah, I gave him his first big break. Really? Yeah. No. no <laughs> he's an enormously talented guy, and he's going to make it someday. <laughs>